financial year or fiscal years are used in your data quite commonly, whether it's a sales data, business data, or medical data, you have financial years or fiscal years to segregate or combine your data, saying that um, you know so many sales happen within a financial year or so many admissions happen in a certain financial year or fiscal year. And every country has different start of the financial years. Most of the countries have the financial year starts based on certain months. Some start with first month, some start with fourth month, seventh month, etc. So this technique will work for those countries. And I'm importing the data. As you can see that I've actually made a connection um, with our script to import the data. Obviously, if you don't have R or you don't use R, this is not going to work for you. The idea is to just get some data in. You could use your CSV files or you could actually create your data on the screen as well. So the idea is that we have some dates and some other associated data with the dates, for example, sales data in this example. So let's create an Australian financial year first. So I'll create a new column and I call it as financial year Australia or AUS. And in Australia, the financial year starts with the seventh month, which is July. So it's a simple if command saying if the month is more than equals seven, then you show certain label. And if not, then you show a different label. That's all. You, you just want to have two different labels, one for the previous financial year and one for the next financial year, which starts from the month seventh. So we can see that we have the financial year labels created already. And let's create a similar financial year for India this time. And India, the financial year starts with April. So we can simply write the similar command and change it to start at fourth month. And that'll do the trick. So there we go. Similarly, I can do it for another country. Let's do it for USA this time. And for USA, the financial year or the fiscal year start from the first month, which is January. So we can use the same script and then change it to start from the first of the month. And that will do the job. I hope you found this technique useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.